Hi Bromies, it's your boy Ricky here with Bromero Cards. I hope you're doing well today. Today's video is not going to be a card tutorial. Today's video is going to be out here for my fountain pens and ink friends. I am going to be doing a video on what I'm pens and ink I'm going to be using for the month of March. So I did this last month in February, so I thought I would do it again for March. So what I'm going to do is show you all show you the pens that I'm going to be using and the inks I'm going to be using with them. And then what I'll do is I'll show you how I fill up uh, the ink pen or one of the fountain pens. I'll show you how I do that. And then I'll go ahead and fill the rest of them up and then we'll do some ink swatching and all that great stuff that you're used to seeing. So sit back, relax. I hope you enjoy the video and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first pen and ink we're going to be using, um, this is again for the month of March, I am going to be inking up this Coeco Sport. It's in a like an olive green. It's really pretty. I like it. Really nice. And I thought that I would pair that up with the Ferris Wheel Press Peter Moss. I love this box. It's so pretty, but it's also a green ink. So what I'll do is I'm just going to show you how I um, fill these up. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll do some ink swatching and all that stuff. But I thought I would just show, uh, show you one way uh, or really the only way to fill this ink pen up. I'm trying to open this without ripping the box, but this may not happen. There we go. Um, as you know, Ferris will press their inks come in these cute bottles here like this. Look really cool. Again, this is Peter Moss. And so this doesn't have any sheen or anything to it. So this is going to be pretty easy to ink up. And basically how we do this is we take the pen apart, we unscrew that, then we unscrew the body. And it has this little miniature filling. Um, basically it looks, it's like a syringe. You put it in and you just pull it like that. So uh, what I'm going to do is open this up. I'm not for sure how full this is. So this might be a little hard to do. I might actually have to pour this in another. I think this might work. So anyway, you just take the um, the uh, attachment here. Why is this word escaping me? I am so sorry, you guys. I'll think of it here in a second. Um, but you just take this, you put it down in the ink, and then you pull up, and then it pulls up your ink into the device, which is pretty cool. And I'll think of this word here in a second. Of course, it's going to be like after... 500 years after I make this video. And then you just push that in. And you screw this on the top. And then you're good. So what I'll do is let me go ahead and put this onto, um, let me put the lid onto the bottle. Oh, it is called a converter, you guys. That is the little mechanism inside the pen. And so what I'm going to do now is, uh oh, I got some on the, on my fingers here. Um, what I'm going to do now is I am going to first write on a piece of paper to make sure the ink is coming through. There we go. It's coming through. And now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and write uh, today's date, which is the 29th. Wait, no. Today's the 26th, so on two, 26, I filled it up with Ferris Will Press. And this is Peter. Moss. So that's basically how I keep a library of what pens I have used and what I have inked them up with. And this also will let me know if uh, ink didn't really work well with the pen, I could put this in this book so that I know that uh, not to place that ink in that pen anymore so that I, you know, so that I don't have any kind of disaster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get my other pens filled up and then we'll complete this and then we will go do the ink swatching. So I'll be right back. 
Okay, you guys, as you can see, I had some problems. It was okay, I got it fixed. I had some problems with some pens starting. So um, we already went ahead and did the Coeco Sport. So we'll go ahead and go ahead and write in the next pen here. And this is gonna be my Conklin All-American Limited Edition Rainbow 898, and it's in a fine pen. And I'm gonna be inking that up with California Teal. And I already inked this up, so I thought I would show this guys to you. He is handsome. He is lovely. He's rainbow. He is metal. He is all the things that are beauty. So I thought that I would, you know, ink him up with some teal. I'm trying. I'm doing pretty much kind of all greens uh, for March. So uh, this ink does not have any shimmer or anything like that. So we'll go ahead and get this written in. So today's date, 2.26, this is Monte Verde. Ink. This is California. Teal. Beautiful. Love that. All right. Let me zoom in just a little bit more. I think you guys. There we go. All right. Um, up next, we have. Let's see here. I have my Twisby. Um, let's see, where is it? Twisby Eco Yellow Green. So that's here. And then I have this inked up with Green with Curiosity by Ferris Wool Press. So we'll go ahead and get this right now. And again, we will be um, swatching these out. And again, this um, has some shimmer in it, so you'll want to make sure that you kind of rotate your pen every now and then as you're writing so that the shimmer um, doesn't sink all the way to the bottom. You kind of want it swimming out throughout your ink. All right, there we go. Again, this this bad boy is bright. Love it. Okay, we'll give that a second to dry. And that looks awesome as it's drying. Wow, that looks really cool. All right, up next, um, I do have my Twisby Diamond. 580 iris and i have this inked up with platinum uh chakoro black um that's a constant for me so let me put this in the frame here uh this is a constant ink in this pen and then i have my twisby eco t cerulean blue and this is also constantly inked up with noodler's liberty um, Elysium. I believe that's how you say that. Elysium. Okay. And then last but not least, I have my Lamy Safari Demonstrator, and I have that inked up with um, Emerald of Shavor. This, I'm not trying to attempt this in, in uh, French. So um, it's by Jacques Urban. And so we'll go ahead and get this. This also has a sheen in it or a, a glitter like mica in it. So we want to make sure that we kind of keep that shaken up too. And 
And this ink is pretty well known. A lot of people use it. It's been around for a really long time. And then we will write the French name. All right, so there we go. All right, so now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get this cleaned up and then we'll go ahead and start doing some ink swatching. So I'm super excited about that and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some ink swatching done. Um, I am gonna be using my notebook here for bottles of ink that I have. This is kind of like how I'm cataloging each ink that I have. I'm still working on exactly how I want to do this. So, you know, it's kind of in transition. But basically what we do is we take the ink, we swatch it with a little uh, drop. I use this guy right here, go around in circles, and then I use my Kikomori dip pen and write out everything. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I do have two glasses of water over here and a pipette so that we can keep things clean and going. So the first thing we're going to do, or the first one we're going to do is the Peter Moss by Ferris Wool Press. And this does not have any type of sheen or sparkle to it, so uh, we don't have to shake this up. Let's go ahead and pull some of this into the pipette. Put a drop there. We'll take the lid, go around the circle. Perfect. And then I do have a piece of paper on the back so that it doesn't bleed on to the next sheet as well. Um, and then let's pull this to the side. And then we'll go ahead and get this written out. We're just going to dip our pen into the ink. This is Ferris Wool Press. This is Peter Moss. And we'll kind of do this, do some thinner ink lines, go this way, this way, do some circles, do a thick line, a medium line, and a thin line. Let's do a heart. I kind of like doing these hearts. Just color that in. And there we go. All right, up next we will do California Teal by Monteverde Inc. Monteverde Inc. Go ahead and pull that out. Let's clean our pipette and our pen. So we'll do California Teal. Again, this does not have any type of sheen or shimmer to it, so we don't really have to shake it. We'll do a drop. Laser lid. Oh gosh, that is ooh, so pretty. Wow. That's really, really pretty, you guys. Really love that color. All right. And then let's go ahead and get this written out. That's California Teal. Wow, you guys, this color is really pretty.
Ooh, I love that color. It is so pretty. Ooh, I think it's my favorite so far. Again, that is Monteverde California Teal. Okay, so we're back, and now we are going to do Green with Curiosity from Ferris Wool Press. You guys, the packaging here are, they're just amazing. They're, I, I love this. All right, so this does have um, some shimmer in it, and there is a sheen as well. So we want to make sure that we go ahead and get that nice and mixed up. And we'll get our pipette and go ahead and pull some out. And we'll take our lid and spread that around. Ooh, this is really pretty too, you guys. Wow. Really pretty. And then we'll shake it up again. So that we can get our writing out. So this is... Paris will press. And you guys, my handwriting is atrocious. Atrocious, I'm sorry. I write like a serial killer, I think. And this is green with curiosity. So, a little bit of that. We'll do a thick line, medium line, thin line. And let's do a heart. Beautiful. Alrighty, and that's drying already. I can already tell that I really, really love that color already. Okay, and last but not least, we have Emerald de Chavour, or Emerald of Chavour, or however you say this in French. I'm not attempting it. I love it because it comes in like this super fancy bottle, and you can see the green sheen there. Super nice. So we will have to shake that up because we want to make sure that we get that nice, beautiful color. And I think instead of here where this bled in, I'm going to skip this space and just go down here. Okay. Y'all, this off water is really pretty all these different greens and blues wow that's really pretty right there and then let's shake this up again so that we know we get some lovely shimmer in here Okay, so this is Jacques Urban, or Jacques Urban. It's Emerald of Shavur. And you guys, I have no like really rhyme or reason of why I do the things I'm doing. I'm just kind of doing it. 
Um, you could draw whatever you wanted, or I can draw whatever you want me to draw. And there we have it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this aside to dry, and then we'll be back and take a final look at these amazing colors. Okay, so we're back and the ink is all dry. So we're gonna go ahead and get these shown out to you. So the first one here is the Ferris Will Press Peter Moss, and it's pretty much like a mossy green. It's really cool and nice. I love how it kind of pulls and shades to a dark green, and then there's this light green. We have the California Teal by Monteverde. And if I can, hopefully I can get this to show up, but look at that. Wow. That is beautiful. It's got like this reddish pinkish uh, kind of sheen to it. It's super nice. Okay. And then we have Ferris Will Press Green with Curiosity. And check that out. Like... There is some blues, some reds, awesome shading in that. That looks amazing with a green base. I love all those different colors. It's almost kind of like a rainbow situation. That's awesome. And then down below, we have Jacques, Jacques Urban, um, Emeralds, Emeralds de Chavour. And this has like some reddish sheen. It has some gold shimmer. It looks really really cool and nice that looks awesome i'm so excited to be writing with these inks this month again it is for march so most of them are green or have a green tint to them it's also my birthday month so i do like to celebrate that with a bunch of greens and then let's just take a look at my pins really quick that i will be using uh, for this month again i do have two staples that i use all the time uh, with black and blue ink and then i have my others here let's go to downward facing there we go so we have my twisby eco we have my Kueco sport in green we have my conklin all american special edition rainbow and then we have the lamy uh demonstrator here safari demonstrator so i'm super excited to write with these this month and yeah it's going to be so fun and then i'll also have a video coming soon that shows my um my journal slash planner and for the month of february my spreads and things like that so that's going to be fun as well so until next time um i will be uh i will be putting links down in the description for all these things that i use today in these inks and all that great stuff and if you use those inks I would greet or um, those links i would greatly appreciate it ferris will press if you go over to their website if you use the code brc you can get a 10 percent discount off of there or you can click some other links down below at atlas stationers and that'll help your boy out so until next time i hope you have a great day and i'll talk to you soon bye